Hey Uplifters, welcome. Uh. <laughs> hey Uplifters, if you're new here, welcome. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, hit the post notification bell so you can be notified every time I upload. So I have two stories to share. Um, it's a little different, but it's the same as someone's two, two people's stories that I wanna share about homelessness. And I'll get into the details why I'm sharing these stories. So let's get into it. I ended up homeless for a few months living in my car as a teenager. I didn't have anywhere to go. The friends that I had were there for me, but it was only so much they could do because they were kids too, and still living under their parents' roofs. It was hard living in a car, but the fact that I had a car made my situation a little bit better. There is benefits to having a car while being homeless. Like I always had a shelter. It was just a mobile one. I was able to move around so a few people would notice me using their street as a camping ground. I did stay at a couple of places more than once and some adults would notice. For me, that was more embarrassing, but I wasn't too worried about them calling the cops, social services, or anyone. For the most part, people weren't nice to me at all. Instead of people asking if I needed help or trying to give me some money or food, they would just look at me like I was trash. That was the type of stuff that made me feel insignificant. That was the stuff that made me cry in my car and question myself about my worth or worth worthlessness. But that was the very type of stuff that made me realize how strong I was and who I was. I had to hustle in every aspect of my life as a homeless teen. I had to get food for myself, water, personal hygiene products, clothing, gas, and all sorts of things that I would need to survive. Out of everything, food was the hardest thing for me to acquire and my most frequently required expense. I guess that's because food was something that you feel like you need to get every day, multiple times a day at least in this country of America. It's nothing wrong with that at all. Most of us set out each day to eat two to three meals daily. I wish I could have continued eating two to three meals a day and I had to scrunch every day. It's the fact that when you're accustomed to having more, especially food, you suffer when you have to adjust to having less, way less. Due to my lack of money, I had no choice but to stretch whatever I would get. My typical week would look like eating practically three days only and maybe twice that day if I didn't splurge. Splurge. My typical menu was a chicken sandwich from the dollar menu at McDonald's and small fries to that if I splurge. I splurge in quotations. I said when I was living cozy in a family field house, became my routine sustenance. That's some of what homelessness was like for me. So like the first, the first story. And I mean, I uh, thank you for sharing um, your story of being homeless. Um, of course, being a teen, we, you know, you expect to, you know, be living at, living comfortably at a home and not worrying about like the adult life and especially being on the streets and having no one to turn to and people looking at you like you're less than um I know that had to suck but I'm I'm thankful and I'm glad that you overcame all of that. Okay, this is the second story. I became homeless when I ran away from an abusive household. I say household because I received abuse from more than one adult where I lived. When I ran away, I was only 12 years old. I went seeking shelter everywhere I could, except for with friends. I thought that if my friends' parents would find out, I would be sent back home or they would send me to foster care. After so much abuse that I went through, I didn't want to take that chance by being forced to live with any other adults or their rules. Usually, rules meant I do what they say and they do what they want to me. I enjoyed living on my own and away from hurt and, and neglect. The only person that could neglect me was myself. But living on the streets made me aware of so much. People treated homeless people differently. Nobody cared that I was a homeless kid. I didn't get no sympathy and I was really on my own with no help or in, in sight. It was like nobody that could help wanted to help because they didn't want to get involved. In a way I didn't care because I figured all adults were just the same. The people who couldn't help were actually the friendliest and most helpful. I guess they figured I had to have been through something bad in order to be out there like that with no guardianship. Some of them treated me like a member of their own family, but they didn't treat me like a baby. 
They helped build me into my independence and adulthood. There wasn't anybody that stole from me, made a shelter for me, or fed me. I had to learn by watching everything and everyone that was how I learned what to do and what not to do. For everyone was a good, not everyone was a good example. A typical day for me was never a, a day of rest or relaxation. I had to provide for myself. I made a living panhandling, stealing, and doing favors for people. I did that all day in order to eat and buy essentials. I was accustomed to shoplifting, but I did spend money when I actually had to spend. When I actually had it to spend. I got a little sleep and a little privacy. When my days wouldn't go as planned, I would eat from garbage cans, which sometimes made me sick, even if I picked the best looking food. After my hard day, I would get little sleep because of my environment, but at least it was a little sleep. I was homeless for six years before I got an opportunity to do something better with my life. I met a drug dealer that saw something in me. He allowed me to make runs for him for prearranged transactions and he paid me good money. I literally saved everything I was paid until I had enough for a deposit on an apartment. I shared my story with the landlord and made my way into their heart and the apartment with and the apartment without my credentials. Since then, I've been doing well. Being homeless for six years as a child, I know that had to be extremely hard, but as they say, like the strong survive, and I'm thankful that you're doing better, and life is, of course, better for you, and in so many ways, we can give back, and I want to do just that. I want to give the homeless care packages. So by buying my book, and or sending me money via Cash App, and like maybe putting in a note, homeless um or donation or something like that better ways that that can help um to get this started um and if you if you're not able to or whatever the case is like i just want to bring awareness to homelessness um like i said i mean there's so many people that are homeless like it doesn't matter what state we live in whatever the case is you're gonna see you see somebody that's homeless and um i know that a little like a little little token of like I see you the struggle and I just want to give back I just want to help I know that would be so much appreciated and maybe this could be a trend you know like by me starting this this whole thing right here maybe somebody else could do this give care packages to the homeless or to people that are less fortunate and it could just go on like that and I wanted to do this because it was put on my heart to do and I know that this can make a difference. This can start a big old thing. This can start something so big and this can change so many lives and this can be really helpful for a lot of people. And I'm just like, we have to be mindful, remember that everyone's situation is different. And we can't judge someone based off of their circumstances right now. And you don't know how they got that way. Um, it's really like none of our, you know, it's like, yeah, you wouldn't know why someone's like that or how they became homeless, but that's not the issue at hand. It's like find ways that can help them not be homeless anymore to get on their feet to, or just to give them little encouraging words or to, to like care packages. It's like people care. People, you know, there are people out there that actually care and want to support or to, to give back to their community that community period so um that's why i want to do this is just to give back um yeah thank you for watching make sure you like comment share and subscribe